as the petals of a flower wither by the hour, as the leaves of a tree sweltering from the scorching sun seek shelter. You put on those glasses to see the world better, but instead you should be cleaning the dust off your own mirror and gazing into the infinity of your reflection without rejection of the affection of the eyes that look back at you in introspection, wanting nothing more than a deeper connection waiting to be made, like the network of a thousand drowsy souls waiting to be awoken with the realization that they are you and you are they. Oh God, for when will come that day when man's ego becomes deceased and he cooks his wife a meal as she sits awaiting her first spiritual feast, watching her spirit rise like the yeast in the bread of the Last Supper to the realization that she too is no other, but of the same wine and same wine as men. I count to ten. Commandments? No. Commitments. For once you believe, you shall not follow but lead. Lead yourself on a journey for all others to follow and absolve this living that is oh so hollow. From ashes to dust, from passion to lust, as the masses we must learn to understand the strength when ten become one and move one hundred times the mountain that each alone could sway. Oh God, for when will come that day? But God, why I ask you when all that which is true lies within me waiting in hibernation through the winter of my soul's desolation like the seeds in December's garden? Why I ask you when all that I see is too well knowing that all is one and yet relish this entrapment of my perceived duality as the world rides along in all its totality on a path that brings salvation in neither its rewards nor its modality? Oh God, for when will come that day when your 1,000 names are seen as one and the oneness of humanity is celebrated under the sun? You see, my quest for salvation has been interrupted by the breaking news flash of a nation that shoots itself with its own ammunition and then claims that it is live and on location. What nation is this, you ask? I ask you, what nation is this not? For every finger that points, three others point back at the hand from which they extend. And in the end, we have 21 billion fingers pointing back at the hearts of the nations that seek to point at one another in desperation. Why not close these fingers around the suffering of others whose pain lingers and form a fist which fights the hands of the self that dared to point in the first place? Oh God, for when will come that day? Thank you. So, I want to give you a hug. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, right. Everybody takes a break. Yeah. Like, woo. So it gets lighter from here. That's the heaviest thing I'm going to do. I'm not going to stress anybody else. I have. That's somewhere in the middle of, of, of where I tend to write.